And this will take you to Newburyport if you're persevere. It's heading through the Harold Parker Forest here in Andover. And this is Jenkins Road, Jenkins Road, something or other road. And there's the cross the street trailhead for our beloved Bay Circuit here in our equally beloved Andover. And this is a killer bit of trail. It's going to take us past the largest boulder erratic I've seen so far and all kinds of relics and ruins of a soapstone quarry operation. I had originally thought to follow my friend Al on a lecture loop hike he's got going. But he had a lot of people were involved in it. it. Looked like a logistics issue. And it took longer than I have battery time for. So I thought, time to follow the beat of that different drummer we hear so much about. It's a lace work of stone walls. It's a complex property, but well blazed nonetheless. Man, look at all this effort. We should soon be coming to the huge erratic. Some home improvement projects. Familiar side of the hand. Walking. And it's an area that's fond of pooches. There's a big vernal pond and a lot of rocks. some kind of firing range off in the distance. I recall when Harry was alive, we were closer to that mess and he hated it.
There's the first of the set of erratics. And there's the monster looming off in the distance. So there we go from the little baby erratic or junior erratic. And over here we have the big one. <laughs> Look at all the helpful little signage. Jesus, this thing's huge. To the glacier that dumped it here, it was a near pebble. But to us little monkeys, it's a big sucker. Rocky underfoot. <laughs> and off in the distance, you can see the larger pond. It provided motive power for the array of milling operations that sprung up here. In the 19th century, some things probably even in the 18th century. And there's yet another little erratic. Water's kind of low in the pond this time of year. It hasn't been a very rainy summer. That's the way to Newburyport. Told me how to get to Newburyport. And this is the way to Duxbury Land. But parking lots and 100 miles of something or other will intervene long before we ever get to Little Duxbury. These are apparently various little spots where they Milled socks, 
soapstone. And here's a picturesque ruin.